Good morning and welcome to our Songs of Praise service, coming to you from the parish of Selbridge and Straffan with Newcastle Lions. This is an exciting time in the life of our parish as we prepare to return to public worship next Sunday. And it is a very appropriate time to give thanks to God, to give praise to God and to sing praise to God uh, for those blessings which we far too often take for granted, including the freedom to meet with one another and to worship together. We will, however, continue to provide an online service Sunday by Sunday for those who uh, are perhaps nervous in returning to church at this point or indeed are unable for whatever reason uh, to come to church. The first of our hymns uh, is the nomination of uh, our organist here in Christchurch Selbridge, uh, Zoe Lipson. Uh, she has chosen a hymn uh, which uh, was written appropriately enough by a graduate of uh, TCD, Henry Francis Light. And on a personal note, I find the hymn particularly interesting because in verse 3, uh, the way that the fatherhood of God is presented, which is in a much more gentle and feminine way than we find so often in our more robust hymns. So our first hymn, Praise My Soul, the King of Heaven. have chosen is Guide Me, O Thou Great Jehovah. This hymn is indelibly associated with Welsh male voice choirs. It was originally written in Welsh and has been used for worship in congregations around the globe and across denominational lines. William Williams, who wrote this hymn in 1745, uses the imagery of the Old Testament book of Exodus to conjure a theme of God's guidance through struggle. This hymn may hopefully give us the faith and strength to see us through our current COVID struggles.
Our next hymn, For All the Saints, is the nomination of John Darlow, who is a member of the choir here in Christ Church, Selbridge. He was a pupil himself of Salisbury Cathedral School and was present at the 700th anniversary of the consecration of the cathedral in 1959, and when one of the guests was the Queen Mother. And her favourite hymn was played on that occasion. That hymn, indeed, was for all the saints, and it is also a favourite of John's. And this is, incidentally, uh, the choir of Salisbury Cathedral, who you hear singing the hymn. For all the saints. I love this hymn for its beautiful and comforting words and lovely tune that's easy to sing. The phrase, O oh, still small voice of calm, gives a feeling of peace. Thank you. 
I've chosen Count Your Many Blessings as one of my favourite hymns because during this time of self-isolation, cocooning, I'm on day 102 at this stage, I am very fortunate to be able to have a home, a garden, mostly fine weather, a car to get out when I can, and that I have been safe and well during this time. But mostly I'm very lucky that I have a phone to keep in touch with people, and though I'm living on my own, I'm not alone. Billows, you are tempest tossed. When you are discouraged, thinking all is lost, count your many blessings, name them one by one, and it will surprise you what the Lord has done. Count your blessings, name them one by one. Your blessings, see what God has done. Count your blessings, name them one by one. Count your many blessings, see what God has done. Are you ever burdened with a load of care? Does the cross seem heavy? are called to bear count your many blessings every doubt will fly and you will keep singing as the days go by count your blessings name them one by one count your blessings see what god has done count your blessings Conflict, whether great or small, do not be disheartened. God is over all. Count your many blessings, angels will attend. Help and comfort, give it to your journey's end. Count your blessings, name them. See what God has done. Count your blessings. Name them one by one. Count your many blessings. See what God has done. Count your blessings. Name them one by one. Count your blessings. See what God has done. Our next hymn is the choice of the former organist here in St. Finian's in Newcastle Lions, Betty Beatty. Betty has chosen this hymn because she found it a very helpful hymn. And the hymn is, Father, I Place Into Your Hands. Trouble me. 
we love to hear your voice Father we love to sing your praise and in your name rejoice Father we love to walk with you and in your presence rest for we know we always can trust you Father I want to be is as the deer pants for the water so my soul longs after you it's number 606 in our hymnal and was written by Martin Nystrom in 1984 so it's quite a modern hymn really it's based on Psalm 42 and today's version is sung by Robin Mark
favourite hymn is We Plough the Fields and Scatter, the Good Seed on the Land. Uh, my father was a farmer, loved farming, and my mother was played the organ in our church for over 50 years. And this hymn always reminds me of her playing it at Harvest Festival. And I remember, I remember the words as well. hymn is a very modern hymn. It uh, is authored by Chris Tomlin and uh, it was nominated by Jim Gleeson uh, from Selbridge. Uh, he heard it first at Spring Harvest. The hymn, How Great is Our God.
going to sing is hymn number 593, and this has been chosen by a number of people. Oh Jesus, I Have Promised is a very popular hymn with a number of tunes. We're going to sing it today to quite a bouncy tune, and I hope you enjoy that. Hymn number 593 in our hymn book, Oh Jesus, I Have Promised. that I've chosen is How Great Thou Art. I've picked this one for several reasons, but mainly because it's a hymn that I always associate with church services that have very personal memories for me. I think both the words and the music are uplifting, no matter what the circumstances in which the hymn is being sung. And I also think that it's a hymn that anyone can join in and sing with great gusto, regardless of their musical talent or indeed lack of. So I hope you will enjoy it as much as I do. Hi, the next hymn is How Great Thou Art, which is one of my favourites, mainly because of the melody, but also because of the lyrics. And I always enjoy hearing my favourite hymns when I don't have to play them. Enjoy. <laughs>
next hymn is uh, the nomination of Rebecca Taylor of uh, Straffan Church. And it is a modern hymn. Uh, it's called Shout to the Lord, and it's performed by Hillsong Worship. Shout to the Lord. Yeah. 
familiar with Graham Kendrick's music. Traditional hymns, which we all love, work best on a church organ. Hymns like Shine Jesus Shine lend themselves to other instruments, like the guitar, and this is a particular favourite of mine. This is our favourite hymn because because it, it it always lifts our spirits. Yeah, and it's a really that's an, it's a beautiful hymn. It's, uh, definitely it's, one of our favourites. Yeah, it's called Shine Jesus Shine. Next hymn is the nomination of June Galligan of uh, Christchurch Selbridge. Uh, she remembers it from going into town uh, to Christian gatherings uh, where it was often sung. And the hymn is Great is Thy Faithfulness. Yeah. 
The next hymn is Amazing Grace, which is one of the most popular hymns of the last two centuries. It is reputed to be sung about 10 million times a year. This hymn was written by seafarer John Newton, who converted to Christianity when a violent storm battered his vessel off the coast of Donegal in 1748. The overall message in the hymn is that through God's great mercy, forgiveness and redemption is offered, and it offers us hope at the time of our despair. Precious Lamb of God, the 
Messiah, Holy One. Thank you, O oh my Father. Thank you, O oh my Father, for giving us your Son and leaving your Spirit in the work on earth is done. Jesus, my God, the Holy Trinity, make you strong in faith and love, defend you on every side, and guide you in truth and peace. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with you and remain with you always. Amen. We hope you have enjoyed this Songs of Praise and look forward to joining you again online and in church next Sunday. God bless you.